Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a simple animated banner for your website. This banner can be used to promote products or you can perhaps even use it to um, promote affiliate items on certain websites such as Amazon, etc. For this I'm going to be using a program called Serif Draw Plus X8. This particular program is now being dis discontinued but still available to buy but won't be updated in the future. But still a great program to use, so if you have this program Simply open the program. Once the first page opens, you want to select New Stop Animation, select that, and then click on Custom. From Custom, go over to the um, right hand corner and select Pixels, which is going to be the width and the length of our banner. You then want to decide the actual um, width and height of the banner. So, for example, I'm going to, I'm going to choose 1000 pixels, and then I'm going to, I'm going to choose 200 in height. Once that's done, click OK. A new page will then open. You can now see this is the actual size of our banner. This is quite a big banner but it fits all kinds of websites which is good. So from there we want to go to the left hand side and click on the quick rectangle tool. So click that. You can draw a rectangle from the corner here to this corner. It helps you have um, snapping in place which is up here. It was turned off, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it helps to snap the um, the item in place. You, now, you can now see that's in place. So you can then choose a colour. Um, so go up to the top here and see your, all your colour options. If you can't see any of these items here on the um, right hand side, click View and then click Studio Tabs. You can see there's little ticks next to all of them. So if, for example, you close this by accident, just go back into view and studio tabs and select it from the, the list here. So I'm now going to select a colour, so let's go to swatch. Um, you can choose any colour you like. I'm going to go for a nice blue colour. So you, you either click, this is the outline and the main colour here. So select that, select that, and then choose choose your colour, you can leave the outline black if you want or you can have the same colour, I'll just leave it black for now. To give the banner a bit more depth, what I like to do is, is add another layer to it, so what I'm going to do is right click on the actual on the actual um, banner now and c select copy and then I'm going to click again, right click again and select paste. Now you can see I have two banners so on top of each other so I'm just going to leave that there, put that back into place then I'm going to go back to Swatch and then I'm going to select um, Vector and then I'm going to select Bricks and Tiles and I can then choose Tiles number 5 for example I think that gives it a lot more depth if you if you want your banner to look a bit more attractive so I like the look of that so, so then my next step is to select a product I want to promote or advertise so in this case I've selected, um, I've saved a, um, an image from Amazon which is the Fire TV stick. So there it is. So I can then place that here. You'll, you'll obviously notice now that the background is white which doesn't look very attractive. So what you want to do now is select the cut out tool and then you can now cut, try and remove the background. Now this may vary depending on each picture pictures with a white background often work the best so here we go try to remove it you can see that's done quite a good job but it's removed a little bit too much so you can see here select the green pencil and just fill this part back in here it doesn't have to be perfect but try and make it as accurate as possible that looks pretty good I can now select OK and now you can see I have my Fire TV stick with remote, which looks nice, with no background. So stick that on there. So the next step is to add a bit of text. I've um, just copied and pasted some text already, so I'm going to select for my first piece of text, I'm going to select Amazon via Fire TV stick. So I'm just going to copy that and then click on the text tool here on the left. Draw the size of the text. I can then paste that from here. Now click back on the pointer tool. I'm now going to select my font style. 
so go up to the top le left and select a font which you know you can choose from lots of different fonts I'm gonna, just going to choose this one for example I think it looks nice yeah I'm going to choose this one so again I'm just going to resize it so it fits in nice I can also use the align tab down here to make sure it's central so I'm going to click this one puts in in the center of the um, actual banner so I think that looks quite nice so far just resize that a bit again I can click on that and click on the line center vertically just sort of push in the middle I can do the same with the image put make sure it's in the middle so to make the text a little bit more attractive I can go back to I can then go down to styles and I can select I'm going to select um, lines before that I'm going to go back to color so I'm going to so the eight line of the um, text I'm going to change the color of that back to swatch um, I'm going to choose a white outline so once that's white I can then go back to lines I'm going to scroll down to spray can and you can see now it's made the text a much more attractive sticks out a lot more you can also do that with the image as well if you want so I'm just going to make sure it's aligned properly so there you have a nice attractive simple banner but I want it to be an animated banner so it's more catchy so what I'm going to do down the bottom here I'm going to click on clone frame click that now I have two banners which are identical but what I want to do with the second banner so make sure you click on the second banner I'm going to delete this text here and replace it with this with Alex voice remote delete that and then I'm going to paste my new piece of text in you can see it's the same font style, the same background, I can then resize that click on the pointer tool again just to resize it Oop. you can undo any things you don't like by clicking on the, the back arrow by there so just make it the size you want then put it in the middle if you like or you can just have it in the bottom or the top I prefer mine to be in the middle so that looks quite attractive just to make it a little more attractive I'm going to change the color of Alex in the middle to maybe didn't want to do that just highlight that click on the main fill color I'm going to change that to an orangey color I think that looks quite good so now we have two different banners one says Amazon Fire TV stick and the other says with Alex voice remote now we obviously want these to rotate between different words so you can see down here it says 100 milliseconds to make it I'm gonna make it five seconds so we're gonna type in 5000 milliseconds and 5000 milliseconds so there's a banner we now want to preview it click on preview in browser sometimes that's found through the um, the file up here you can see it there I've added it to the top toolbar so click on that wait for your browser to load we should see it now rotating there you go there's a nice simple banner nice attractive banner it says Amazon Fire TV Stick with Alex voice remote so that's going to rotate every five seconds obviously this is just an example you can add your own products from your, your own website or your own text whatever you like so that's basically you create a simple banner and the final step is to save it so we want to click on export picture again this is usually famous for the file export export as picture now this is important we must make sure you check that the width and the height is the original one you start out with sometimes it changes for some reason I don't know but just make sure it's a thousand by two hundred in height or whatever um, dimensions you've entered so but the most important thing is 
you can obviously change the quality here as well but it tends to um, shrink the picture so just add your width and your height make sure they're correct but most importantly you have to select animated GIF it won't work on any of the other options so animated GIF select that you can click on them super sample which can kind of smooth the text out a little bit but just experiment with it so once you've selected animated GIF and all the sizes are right click export it will then save it to your location of your choice I can then go into my pictures I can see that by here click on that there's my banner just make sure it rotates every five seconds and there you go every five seconds it displays a different text of course you can change the image you can add loads of images you can choose what you like to, what you want to do so basically that's how you create a simple animated banner with draw plus x8 thanks for watching